Good morning, YouTube. It is 10.55 a.m. on Thursday, November 16th. In about five minutes, OnePlus is going to unveil their OnePlus 5T. They're having their unveiling event in Brooklyn today. Uh, they actually offered it, uh, they opened it to anyone. Tickets were 40 bucks. I was really tempted to fly to New York for the day just to go, uh, go to that event. That would be great. I've never been to one of these unveilings, but I love watching them. Uh, I'm always excited for them. I'm excited for this phone too. I'd be much more excited if it was a new processor, but there's no new Qualcomm high-end silicone. So all new design, new screen, thinner bezels. The fingerprint sensor moves to the back. Hopefully there's some good camera improvements. Anyway, the event's about to start, so I'm gonna go watch it and let's see what Carl Pei and his OnePlus team have in store for us today with the OnePlus 5T. All right, the OnePlus 5T unveiling just ended. Uh, it was pretty good. Started off a little slow. Uh, they spent a lot of time talking about beta testing and all their procedures for beta testing. Then finally, Carl Pei came out. Uh, he started with a very interesting retrospective on the history of OnePlus, which I really enjoyed, uh, talking about even some of their missteps along the way. And then he finally started talking about the OnePlus 5T. Because of the leaks, we knew most of the details about the phone. So what's different going from the OnePlus 5 to the OnePlus 5T? Well, the big differences are the screen and, the, and one of the rear cameras, I believe. The screen obviously is the biggest difference. All the main OnePlus devices since OnePlus One, except for the OnePlus X, were five and a half inch 1080p screens. So now for the first time, we're going to a six inch screen. The resolution is still the same, so to speak, in terms of uh, PPI, pixels per inch, but the screen is taller now. So pixels across is the same, 1080, but instead of the height being 1920, it's 2160. 2160 by 1080. It's taller by about two millimeters. It is wider by 0.9 millimeters. Uh, it is the same thickness. The weight has gone up by nine grams from the OnePlus 5, so that I should you should probably be able to feel it. Now the cameras. So for the OnePlus 5, for the rear cameras, there was a 16 megapixel camera and a 20 megapixel camera. The 16 megapixel camera was f1.7. The 20 megapixel camera was the zoom camera. So, the, so it was optically zoomed 1.6 times and it had a smaller aperture, f2.6. The new one, the two rear cameras are 20 megapixel and 16 megapixel again, like before, but they're both f1.7. So now the goal is not for the second camera to let you zoom in. The second camera is used to capture more light for getting better low light pictures, is my understanding. Uh, sensor sizes are the same. Uh, other camera features seem to be the same. Unfortunately, there's no optical image st stabilization. It's still EIS. Then the other difference is the fingerprint sensor has now moved to the back, obviously, because it's uh, there's no space in the front. Uh, the battery is still the same, 3300 milliamp hour battery. Um, the, it's still the same dash charging specs. So charging time should be almost exact. It should be, I think, exactly the same as one plus five. It's the same uh, power going in at the same rate to fill up the same size battery. I think that covers all the hardware differences. Uh, the, obviously the fingerprint sensor is supposed to be pretty fast, 0.2 seconds. Uh, we'll see in practice if we can notice that to be any faster than the one plus five fingerprint sensor. Uh, face and lock is supposed to be pretty fast too, uh, but not as secure. We'll see how that works. Anyway, overall, I guess I'm, I think this is a mild update. If I had one, plus, I mean, I have one plus five, but if I was keeping my one plus five, I would not be too concerned about these changes happening so quickly. It's the same exact processor, same storage, same RAM. Um, it's, it's a small change. Like the changes are more on the outside than the inside. Uh, it's the new screen is nice. The resolution is the same, same dot screen. So it's not like the screen is going to look that much better. Same battery, same charging, same storage, same RAM. Really? I don't think I would care at all. I wouldn't be like, what? I just bought this one six months ago and you've already changed it. Ah, barely changed it. If I was waiting and then I, the 5T came, I'd be like, uh, could there be more changes? Couldn't we get a little bit better battery? Maybe uh, newer silicone, but there's no newer high-end Qualcomm processor. I don't think the pictures are gonna be better. You're not gonna be looking at a OnePlus 5 picture and a OnePlus 5T picture and going, oh, look at how much better that is. So yeah, it's a, it's a newer design, but this is, in my view, still a mild refresh. 
I guess that's why it's called a one plus five T and not a one plus six. A um, couple other things interesting that Carl Pei said. Um, I did not know that the reason he named the company one plus is the one is us, you, us, me, the user, and plus is adding plus to the user, like adding more value to the user's life. Whatever, interesting. I had no idea. Uh, I thought it was one plus because it was, it had to do with Oppo. That's OP and this is OP. I don't know. Anyhow, I'm still excited for the phone. Um, I look forward to getting one in my hand and playing with it. I think it's going to be very similar to the experience of the OnePlus 5 with a nicer screen. Camera, maybe better lower light pictures will be noticed. Okay, so that is my uh, musings on today's OnePlus 5T announcement. What do you guys think? You think uh, it's really changed a lot from the 5 or hasn't changed that much? Happy with the changes? Not happy with the changes? Uh, what features are missing? They didn't add wireless charging. They didn't add waterproofing. Those are the big ones, I suppose. Um, but they didn't increase the price too much, which I think is much more important. It's definitely a far better value proposition than a Pixel XL. It's really hard to justify that much more money for a Pixel XL when you can get this much uh, with a OnePlus 5. I'm excited to get that phone. Hopefully I'll get it in my hands soon and make more videos about it. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.